Hello, it's Kieran from Server Pro, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to set up an SRV record within Cloudflare so that you can join your server with a custom domain that you've purchased from a domain registrar. So, let's get straight into it. So, the first thing that you need to do is purchase a domain from a domain registrar such as Namecheap or GoDaddy or any domain registrar that you choose. So you simply need to purchase a domain with them and then once you've done that you'll need to link it to Cloudflare. And you can do this by following this tutorial on their website and I'll have links to all of these down below in the description so that you can follow them. Um, and once you've set it up and collected your domain to Cloudflare and set up name servers and so on, um, come back to this tutorial and you can continue learning how to set up an SRV record. So once you have linked your domain to Cloudflare, as you can see here, mine is active um, and it's got a green box which means it's all working correctly. So once you've done this, you can start setting up the SRV record. So if we go to the DNS tab on Cloudflare, and then here we'll be entering some details. So first, we're going to go to the Server Pro Control Panel, and then go to the My Servers tab and go to the server that you want to use for the domain. So I want to use this faction server, so I'm going to click Control Panel. And then the information that we need is this IP address here. So we'll need to copy this, and we're just going to add it to a Notepad file. So if we just open Notepad, and we just paste it here, and then if we delete the semicolon, and then press Enter, it separates your domain into two separate parts. So the first part is called the IP address, and the second part is called the port. So these are just information, pieces of information that you need to know when you're setting up the SRV record. So now that we've got these noted down in Notepad, if we go back to Cloudflare, we can begin adding um, the SRV record. So the first thing that you need to do is select this A box here and make sure A is selected. Then for the name, we're just going to put something random. So I'm literally going to put random, uh, as this doesn't really matter. And then for the IPv4 address, you're going to go to the Notepad file and copy that IP address we noted down earlier. And we're just going to paste it in here. And then we're going to untick this orange box and click Add Record. So now that we've added that, we can go back to this box here and select SRV Record. So once we've added that, we can go ahead here and enter underscore Minecraft. Then for the protocol, we're going to select TCP. And then for the name, so this is going to be whatever you want to connect to your server with. So if you wanted it to be play.yourdomain, you simply put that. If you wanted it to be, um, let's say, MC, you could do that, or, or join. Or if you wanted it to actually just be the domain itself, you would just put the domain. Um, but I want it to be um, mc.kieran.io. So then once you've entered that, you can click save. Then for the priority, select zero. And then for the weight, select zero. For the port, you're going to select the port, which you noted down earlier. So if we go back to the notepad file, you can see we listed the port earlier as we took from the server program control panel. So mine is 41265, so I'm just going to copy that. And we're going to paste it in here. And then for the target, you're going to select random dot your domain so in my case it's random.kirin.io and then click save and then click add record and that's simply it so we've set up an SRV record for our Minecraft server so if we then go to Minecraft and just disconnect from the server and then if you click direct connect enter your domain that you've just set up so in this case it was mc.kirin.io and then click join server you should be able to join your server without any problems. So it's really that simple and you can run into a few issues with this. Um, so if you notice that you can't join your server and it says there's a problem joining or it could not connect, um, please give it up to 48 hours for the settings to go into place. Depending on your internet provider, these settings can take up to 48 hours to start working. Um, but other than that, um, if you have any problems, feel free to contact our support. However, most of these issues are usually dealt with by your um, domain registrar support or Cloudflare support. So they actually have a helpful support panel up here, which you can use and they should be able to help you here as well. 
Um, so thank you for watching. I hope that you have a fantastic day and goodbye.